fair to say it begins here. On Friday night of race weekend, it's the opening ceremony and Parade of Nations. Then the marathon fireworks to continue to elevate your spirits. The next morning, the 5K dash to the finish brings out the international set to celebrate the universality of the sport, a sport which speaks many languages. The Verrazano awaits on race day. First off the line, the wheelers. Kurt Fernley is at the front. In past years, he has tried to break up and weaken the field with a sustained push on the Verrazano uphill to no avail this year. 40 miles an hour down the bridge with Brooklyn up next. Number 300, Masazumi Sojima of Japan avenged two second places in New York with a spectacular win in 2011. Sojima likes to lead and push. Ernst Van Dyke is always in the thick of things. A winner here in 2005 and the reigning Chicago Marathon champion. Kurt Fernley, a savvy racer, strutted his stuff here in 2009 with a strategic push to edge Craig Chabot. <laughs> Aid station volunteers are about the only ones out. The crowds will come later. Tatiana McFadden is two minutes ahead of the field. She showed her dominance in the sport with her 2013 Boston Marathon win. Tatiana is going for the Grand Slam, an unprecedented accomplishment in the sport. She has wins in London, Boston, and Chicago, and New York could be her series MVP. The Brooklyn Clock Tower building is a landmark on the course, and the lead pack of five is very much intact. While the wheelers breeze through unnoticed, the runners fill the streets and the spectators wake up and get involved. The marathon is a great showcase for the city, and the world comes here to run. First Avenue, Manhattan, Fernley, Marcel Hug of Switzerland, and Kota Hokonoe of Japan push hard. Marcel Hug of Switzerland, the 2011 and 2012 Berlin Marathon champion. Hug is known for his sprinting ability. He has won international events at distances from 100 to 10,000 meters. The miles per hour slowly get dialed up. Okay, let him pass. Into Central Park and the Fabulous Five, all who have raced here before, begin to strategize for the final sprint. 50,000 plus join the moving festival, making New York the largest marathon in the world. The 25 mile mark. The stage for an extraordinary finish has been set. Us 
Columbus Circle into the Central Park finish stretch. Sojima, Hugh, Fernley, and Van Dyke. With 300 yards to go, Van Dyke makes a move around to the left. So Jima and Van Dyke at the front. Surprisingly, so Jima in the red on the far side fades. Van Dyke, Hugh in the black, and Fernley. Marcel Hugh has a slightly higher gear than Van Dyke and goes around. It's Hugh, Van Dyke, and Fernley, then Sojima and Hokonoe, all within two seconds. Tatiana McFadden stays strong, takes the win, and the Grand Slam. The 43rd New York City Marathon, the biggest and best in the world.